since I've got here there's a lot of fond memories but at the same extent there's a few things that I would have liked to have gone maybe a stage further. Phil Yagelka, Everton Football Club. I wouldn't say it was all that I'd hoped for, you know, I'd hoped that we'd have got to an extra final or potentially won a final. Defender and captain. For Everton and their leader, inconsistency in the league and the last four exit in the League Cup mean hopes of success this campaign hinge on an FA Cup quarter-final against Chelsea. It's the biggest game of the season, it's as simple as that now. Um, you know, we've still got games to play in the league and we want to finish up as high as we can, but you know, with the disappointment of the League Cup um, still sort of lingering around a little bit, we're desperate to, to go at least the same step, if not a step further this, this year in the FA Cup. The draw was, was tough, but uh, we've had some good games against Chelsea this year and hopefully uh, we can perform to a similar standard and, and come away with a win. They're desperate to salvage their season as well, but you know, this is a cup competition they want to win to make up for their probably poor form in the league, so uh, it's going to be a good game for both teams to want to win, which is obviously um, what the FA Cup's all about. One of the season's highlights for Everton has been the continued development of their younger players, amongst the most talented in the country. People talk about you know, the, the young lads that we've got, obviously John, Ross, Jerry, Rom, you know, these sorts of players, um, everyone grabs the headlines, but we've also got some other good lad, young lads coming through as well that are desperate for a little chance as well. The attacking talent we've got, the mixture of obviously the youth and a few of us older ones that have been here a while, um, you know, it's a really good mix. I say it's definitely the, probably the strongest squad that I've been here uh, in, in my old tenure. The pick of the bunch is Romelu Lukaku. The Belgian striker has found the net more times this season than any Everton player has in the last 25 years. Rom had a fantastic first season with us. Um, we all struggled a little bit last season, but he still, you know, turned in with over double figures. And this year, he's he's obviously been on fire. I think you look at his power, pace, his his finishing. He can head. Um, they say he's 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 got pretty much all. And they say you forget just because he's obviously a a very mature person as far as his physique and things are. You forget actually how young he is. So he's still improving. You know, he's broke a couple of records for the club and things like that this season. We. We're desperate to make sure that he obviously carries on for the last sort of 10 games of the season and however many more cup games we've got. And his next chance to add to his most prolific season to date is against his former employers. Often happens when a player plays against the old team, he manages to grab a goal. It'd be nice for Rom to, to do that. I think he's definitely up there with um, the top three or four strikers, especially in the Premier League. So um, at the moment, his confidence is high and it's up to us to make sure we keep it that way. The Everton captain put the Toffees into their last FA Cup final, scoring the winning penalty in the 2009 semi. But it's a tainted memory. Well, obviously, it's a highlight, but I can't really say anything about that without sort of obviously having the frustration of getting injured uh, about two weeks later and obviously missing the final. So it's obviously a highlight, um, something I look back on with uh, immense pride, but unfortunately, I'm still yet to play in the final, so uh, I'm still waiting for the opportunity and hopefully this year will be the year. Chelsea went on to win the final at Everton's expense, and seven years on, Gus Hiddink is standing Chelsea boss again, aiming for his own repeat performance. <laughs> they got one over on us uh, that year as well in the FA Cup, but I say the Chelsea are a massive, massive team. They've got some great players, and they needed someone in to come and study the ship, and he's done a fantastic job so far. I say it's a tough draw um, this game, and. We're not looking past that. We'd love to be in the hat for the next round and see what that throws our way, but potentially one step away from playing at Wembley. So um, the Cups have been where we've had, obviously, our, probably our better part of the season. We've got to be positive. We've got to go out there, give our all, and hopefully um, be sat by our tellies hoping to see what we get in the next round. Is that OK?